Whatever. Hi, playmates. The general consensus is that Exo's Heroes PvP uh, <laughs> needs a little bit of work. The Guardian Stones, bonuses, and passes with poor translations uh, make it really difficult to memorize every mechanic, especially if you're not a real competitive player. However, this doesn't mean that you can't win and still have some fun. Because let's face it guys, winning equals fun <laughs> for most of us anyway. Here are 5 foundational tips to maximize your PvP winning potential on Exos Heroes as a new player. These tips apply to any player with or without faded heroes or fate cores. So even if you are free to play, I'm sure these tips will guide you through your road to victory. Tip number one, do PvP as the first or last part of your daily routine. If you plan to play less than an hour for the day, do your PvP last in your daily routine so you can have your heroes at maximum condition prior to your first battle. This means you should farm your challenges, get your scrolls, get your gear, abrasives, whatever, and upgrade your hero level, transcend them, blast them, gear them up, polish up the gear before you smash into the arena. For example, let's say you get lucky and get a faded weapon or armor. You're just that much more likely to win if you have those equipped prior to your battle. If you plan to play more than an hour, or if you're above Challenger 3 in the arena tier, make sure you do your first PvP battle first prior to starting any dailies. Then you can have your ticket regenerate while you do your dailies. It regenerates at 1 ticket per hour, so you can do your PvP, do your dailies, upgrade your heroes once more, and dive into the PvP again. This way you can maximize the points that you earn throughout the day. Tip number 2. Keep in mind the back row and front row formations. In Exos Heroes, rule of thumb is that your DPS characters should be in the back row while your healers and tanks should be in the front row, so don't get this confused. The game will tell you to place a certain hero on a certain row for a reason, so don't ignore it. It's not worth it to get hit with the formation penalty for a certain hero passive bonus, especially early on in the game and especially if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Tip number 3. Do not attack heroes of your guardian stone element. The element of the hero is fixed, but guardian stones for each hero is different. For example, Bathory will always be a frost element hero, but her guardian stone can be fire, frost, holy, darkness, nature, whatever. There are units that have a passive counter, thrust, or a different passive that does damage your heroes over time. So unless you can memorize all the hero skills and passives, it's just safe to not attack the opposing hero of the element of your hero's guardian stone or stones if you have gemmed faded gear. For example, if your Bathory has a Fire Guardian Stone, you should not be attacking Riddikel, who is a Fire Element, or you will break your own Bathory when he counters. If your Bathory has a Darkness Guardian Stone, you should not be attacking Shifrakian, who is a Darkness Element, who will thrust and break your Bathory. Remember also that traditional sense of elements do not apply in Exos Heroes, like meaning nature is not weak against fire, etc. Even if you can't memorize all the skills and passives, you should familiarize yourself with the elements of the faded heroes and legendary heroes as they are more common in PvP. You can see the guardian stone of your own heroes next to your hero icon in battle on the bottom left so you don't need to memorize your own. This brings to tip number 4. Bring a mixture of single target heroes, AoE heroes, and healer buffer heroes. If you long click a hero skill, you will see that the skill is either an AoE or single target for DPS units. In Exos Heroes, it's just safe to bring a mixture of both AoE and single target DPS into any PvP situation, but if you have to lean towards one or the other, take a single target DPS over AoE and get rid of units one by one. If you have to pick between AoE heroes, take one that has a burst on their skill, which increases the attack based on the mana accumulated. Why you do this is a topic for another video based on the current status and heroes uh, available in the game, so just trust me on this one. Healers or buffers are good to have in your team not only because of the benefits they offer in the healing, 
but for the extra non-attack turn you have so you can delay in certain situations. And there is no skip option in Exo's heroes, your hero must execute a skill upon turn. So if you're up against heroes with passives that can harm your heroes from receiving damage, it's best to have a unit that can stall a turn for you. Remember that a turn counts on your side as well as your enemy side when it comes to any kind of buffs or debuffs. Tip number 5. Bring heroes of a different element. This is pretty self-explanatory. A lot of your PvP success will come from if you can break a hero by attacking a hero that has a guardian stone of your own hero's element. Only for your first 5 pass battle for levels under challenger 3 or until you get to tag team battles which shows your opponent's guardian stones prior to battle, you will not know which hero has which guardian stone on your opponent's side. So it's best to bring along a variety to increase your chances of breaking a hero. Of course, this can come as a bit of a gamble, but increasing your chances is nevertheless always a good option to have. And there's nothing more satisfying than randomly guessing and breaking a hero during battle, especially if you're in a pitch. There's a lot more in-depth information that can be used to enhance your PvP experience, but even with these 5 tips we just shared today, you'll be climbing through the ranks in no time. And let me know if these tips help you or if you have any other tips you'd like to share. It will also mean a lot if you could subscribe and keep checking out our latest game content. Love creating these and love to share them with you guys. Thanks a lot for watching and keep smiling everyone!